For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that um, unseeable conditionals and loops. So variable uh, conditional variables and as well as the loops. So how we can write this uh, conditions on the unseeable like example say that uh, if this is um, so and so and do this if this is not so and so and do this something like that so how we can write those examples here so i'm just going to uh, show you a few examples here let's see this so i'm just going to um, into playbooks here okay so now uh, what i'm going to do here it is that i'm going to uh, say start and stop start and stop services i just um, i'm going to specify something like this here so what i'm going to do in this playbook is that if the name is matching to the exact what i'm saying and restart one service if it is not matching then restart other service so how it is then so what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to specify the name here so the name maybe i can put anything um, start and stop services okay so here i'm just going to specify the host here um, host maybe our group is server and say tasks so i'm going to specify the task over here uh, the task name i'm just going to use is uh, service so service module i'm calling here the service name so i'm just using is um, service name uh, postgres sql and state i'm saying is started so start the service when uh, unseeable host sorry unseeable host matches this name so what is the name i'm just going to specify here that is called uh, node phi dot tech ARKIT dot local so there is no such a host actually in our inventory but i'm just writing something like this so what it will do here it is that it's going to get the uh, service name if it is matches node uh, 5 so there is no node 5 so that um, play is going to not execute okay so here i'm just going to um, call one more service so here uh, name equal to SSH D I call SSH D service name and state equal to restarted so uh, I'm going to restart the service on the remote host okay so when the unseeable host equal to so I have the node to right node to dot tech ark it dot local so this play is going to execute exactly um, uh, so first one is going to be not do anything because there is no node 5 then uh, the next one is going to restart the service there is a node 2 so now in the playbook with three dots and save it and unseeable playbook called start and stop service and let's execute and see that how it works so now it's going to gather the fact master node so you can see that so the node to failed the change false message value state must be reloaded or restarted so maybe i put something different on the playbook 
restarted that's what i put right maybe i can put started okay otherwise okay so the play you can see that there is no node 5 that's why the play is not played but the next one is uh, played so let's see that so it's going to execute so node 1 node 2 node 3 node 4 so Allah says okay because the condition which is I said is that the node 2 whether it is started or not so it got executed and verified that the service is says node 2 is started so remaining host which is skipping because they did not specify the condition over there that the, this node uh, go and check it up okay so that's why how that's why you can use the condition let's see lum, some uh, loops example here how we can write the loop on the ansible playbook so here i'm just going to use the uh, uh, m module to install multiple packages running on the loop so how we can do that so i'm just going to say um, loops dot yml and i'm just going to start my playbook here i say the name is um, install multiple packages and say the host is going to run on node 2 and say specify the tasks is that here i am just going to specify the task name is install packages and the module i am going to use is m and the name i am going to specify here it is that uh, item that is called as a uh, loop uh, variable name i am specifying here and the state is going to be in a latest so install the latest version of the package so i'm just going to say items so here in this items i'm just going to specify what are the packages it should install so i'm just going to say install make and install gcc and install httpd and install uh, wget so these are the packages i'm just wanted to install on that uh, particular node node 2 so here is the playbook ends so what i'm doing on here it is that i'm going to specify the package name as an item and i'm going to specify the item names over here so uh, these are the items which are going in loop and runs and uh, one will go and over here and execute it and install it and second will go over here and uh, install it and third it goes so keep on it's loops all of these packages and install the packages as per the playbook so let's run the loop and verify here uh, the playbook and just going to execute the loops here so it says that loops uh, it says that the new version of the uh, unseeable 2.8.5 is that uh, deprecation warning invoking m uh, in a loop is uh, not uh, specify anywhere here on the loop so which is suggesting us to do something like this please use name and in a bracket uh, you have to specify the packages name something like this so and remove the loop this feature will remove in 2.11 deprecation warnings can be disabled settings deprecation warning false so uh, if you make this deprecation warning fa uh, equal to false then you will see that you will not see any warning something like this so this this looping is not deprecated in this version but it says that it's going to be removed on 2.11 version so that's why uh, avoid using the loops uh, it was saying so it was not exactly saying avoid loops but use the loop something like this it's a different parameter so that's what uh, so now you can see that it's okay and node 2 and change it one and you can see that the node 2 was okay and the packages got 
installed so instead of using with items you can also use something like this that's about the conditional variables and uh, loops um, thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses okay all these playbooks are posted in my github repository please look it up in my get repository so that you will find all of these playbooks Please follow us on social networking site. Uh, one is uh, Facebook. The Facebook page name is uh, at Linux ARKIT. Uh, you can click on this button here and click like page so that you can follow us on Facebook. The next one is Instagram. Uh, Instagram name page name is ARKIT.co.in. Click on follow button. To follow me and uh, Twitter if you have any questions on uh, subject line or if you have anything you can just with me at a Ravi Kumar 48 so I will reply you most on the tweet back for anything related if you want the latest articles on my website so here is my website details and email address details you can reach me over here.